Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrailer.com and today we're going to be taking a look at the Yakima High Speed Fork Mounted Bike Rack for your roof here on our 2021 Audi Q7. Now a roof mounted bike rack is a great way to carry a bike on your Q7. The hitch that does fit is required to have some cutting to fit so you might not want to make a permanent modification to your vehicle like that. So for me, a roof rack is a great way to non-permanently modify your vehicle and still give you a ton of functionality like we see here. Now with this bike rack in particular, it is going to be a fork mount, which means we've got the front wheel removed and this is clamped in at the front. It will work with a variety of different through axles and is included with a nine millimeter quick release skewer, which we're using right now. Overall, it's gonna hold the bike really well and I personally think that removing the front wheel, it makes it easier to load up. The Q7 is not a short vehicle, and having that weight above your head while you're trying to load it up into a bike rack can be tricky, I won't lie to you, but for me, it's not too bad getting it loaded up like this. You do have a 40 pound weight capacity, so if you are fully loading it up, just be mindful of that and be careful when you are coming up here. To get it unloaded, we're just gonna start by undoing this back wheel strap. That's our secondary point of contact. You can push in that gray button and release the ratcheting strap, just like that. And that'll slide back and forth along the tray to accommodate different wheel bases. Now at the front here, I'm gonna have one hand on the bike and we've got this hand knob right here, kind of underneath my right arm that we can loosen up that will open up the jaws right here, releasing that quick release skewer. So I'll just open that up all the way. You can kind of see the bike starting to move. And carefully, with a good hold on the bike, we can just lift it up and away from the vehicle like that. And again, having that front wheel removed, I think does really help quite a bit, just because there's less weight that you're moving with and less moving around on the bike. You can see a little bit better that portion that our quick release was sitting in. And when I tighten down that hand knob, you can see that clamping action. Now, you do have the option to add lock cores here. We can add one up top, and we can also add one in the very back with the integrated cable lock. I can show you kind of where that is. Right here. So it just sits in the bike rack. So if you want to, you can add a lock core here and make sure that your bike stays locked to the rack nice and easy. You can also add lock cores to lock the rack to your roof rack to make sure every part of the system is secure. And overall, I think it's gonna be a pretty easy bike rack to use here. It's nice and low profile, so it's not in the way if you wanna leave it on between rides. And it's gonna be pretty easy to use, get your bike up there, get it to its destination, and get it back down without too much hassle on the taller vehicle here. Thanks for watching. Here on our test course, we'll start by going through the slalom. This is going to show us the side-to-side -side action. This simulates turning corners or evasively maneuvering. Once we get to the full speed bumps, we'll see the up and down action. This will be just like driving in and out of a parking lot, parking garage, or driveway. Once we get to the alternating speed bumps, we'll see the twisting action. This will simulate hitting a curb or a pothole or driving over uneven pavement. 